Okay, so what I did was I ended up just putting this screwdriver in there and just tight tapping it out. This thing is just rusty, really bad. So these cam followers, I don't know if they just pull straight out. Looks like they just pull straight out like that. Okay, so we're going to do a before and after of this part. So you see this part now? How nasty it is? I've got a small amount of CLR here. Now I'm going to just drop this in there because I think there's actually, is there a bearing on that? No. I'm just going to drop this in there and allow the CLR to do its thing. Now the kicker with CLR is it's, it opens up the pores of the steel. So as soon as I retrieve this from there, I'm going to have to wash it with alcohol real quick and then get a coating of oil on it immediately. A real good coating of oil, otherwise rust will begin to form on it immediately again. So uh, where's I don't want to touch that CLR because it's pretty nasty stuff. Oh shit. And it doesn't look like it's going to be completely submerged. but I think most of it is. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll show you after it's done. Okay, so I've got the crankshaft out of the front housing and as you can see, it's pretty nasty. I've got this off, the back timing gear. There's a bearing here. I've never replaced one of these so I have no idea how hard it's gonna be to get out. And then there's a bearing here but before I even attempt to remove any of these bearings, these are going to have to go through my uh, ultrasonic cleaner and, and get as much of this grit and crap out of there so that I can oil them and heat them up and facilitate getting this stuff out now. There's another bearing here, but the only way to get that bearing out is to successfully remove this screw so that this timing wheel can come out. Uh, the tough part about that is, is there's that cutout in that wheel for the end of the crank pin of the crankshaft to engage and obviously the only way you can get on that screw is with all that stuff disassembled so the hard thing is trying to figure out how to hold this in place because you see there's really nothing here you have to try and find some way to hold that in place and then loosen that screw and it's it's a challenging proposition. I know I've uttered more than a few swear words the last time I had to try and do this. So this is not an easy disassembly by any means. I've been soaking, I've been putting some CLR on a Q-tip on here and letting it sit. And I'll just drop it either, I'll wash it off with alcohol first and then I'll just drop it in my ultrasonic cleaner and clean this. But uh, in this dish, let me pan out here a little bit, in this dish I still have my timing wheel and I had to drop my crankshaft in here because I started trying to move this bearing off basically by putting this on a piece of wood and I'll put this here and I'll strike it with a hammer rotate, strike, rotate, strike, rotate all the way around to try to work that bearing off um, what was happening was there was so much buildup on this crankshaft here that it wasn't really allowing me to get that bearing off. So I'm going to have to just let this stuff soak, try and eat up all that rust, and then I'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, clean off all the rest of the carbon. So hopefully these parts will be nice and clean, and then I can finish the disassembly. Now, this whole thing, uh, I'm probably going to put in just like this. I'm not going to remove the sleeve. So we'll just leave it like that. So this is kind of a painstaking process. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to turn the video off and keep working on this stuff. Okay, so here is the completely disassembled engine uh, and cleaned up. Now some of the parts are in here. The parts that I've got in this bin are sitting in oil. That's why I kind of got them separated because I had to oil all these things up after some of them had been through the CLR. 
So let's start here with this crankcase, the main crankcase. All bearings are completely out of it. There's some uh, carbon in there that still hasn't come out, and these things have been sitting in the ultrasonic cleaner for quite some time, and there's still a little bit of staining on here. I don't think I'm going to worry about scrubbing that out. I think it'll be fine. It's just a little odd that it's taken so long to get some of that out, but as you can see, every bearing is out of this engine. Here's all the bearings that came in the engine. This engine has five. This is the main bearing that goes here. Uh, let's see. Front bearing. Nasty. So those are for that. The bearings that go in this, you got one that goes in here, and then you got this really small one that goes in this area here. And then the final bearing this kind of label is there is this timing gear I'm going to zoom in here a bit I don't know if it's the timing gear but so this wheel timing disc wheel was inside the crankcase like this this gear has some small cutouts on it and it fits into a cutout in this and then of course here's that screw that was a real pain in the butt to get to or get uh, unscrewed. And this bearing here goes in between these. It actually fits in the crankcase, but this will pass through there. So that is basically sandwiched in here like that. But obviously, it's within the crankcase. So that's that. Now what I need to do is uh, get some parts on order. The piston is pretty clean. It wasn't really too bad to begin with. Oh, here I want to show you the before and after on this timing wheel now. It's quite heavily oiled right now, but I think you'll see a marked difference in how it looked before as to how it looks now. And It sat in the CLR for quite some time. Uh, here's our head, nice and clean, all oiled up. Crankshaft, much better looking. I might still need to dress up some of this stuff, but it feels pretty smooth. It's all really oily. I've got these things really doused in oil. So, that's That's where we stand with this right now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to get bearings on order and I can't do anything else until I get replacement bearing sets for this engine.